Scott. New at 5, Wichita police are warning about the high number of kids taking motorized scooters and cars onto the streets. Cakes Ben Jordan live with why it's illegal and talks with a parent who lets their kids ride on the streets. Ben? Chris, police say they've been getting a few 911 calls a day from parents seeing kids on motorized scooters and bikes flying by stop signs and often not paying attention to other traffic. They can be found on nearly every block. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Kids taking their electric mini cars or motor scooters and hitting the streets. I've got them to where they go down to the corner and come back right in the cul-de-sac. Chris Libel lets his grandkids do it all the time as long as there's supervision. And I enjoy the cul-de-sac because I don't have to worry about cars coming through here too fast to where I have to worry about uh, somebody running over them. Police say this is a problem that ranges from youngsters to teens. Really, we get a calls from everywhere, every neighborhood. We get complaints all the time about kids, you know, zooming up and down the streets being unsafe. And people are really mostly concerned about other vehicles, you know, hitting them. Not only is it unsafe for them to be on the road with drivers, it's also illegal. These aren't allowed on the streets. Um, we would like to see them keep them on private property in their driveways. But on the street, you're required to have a license. You have to be a licensed driver, and the vehicle has to have the proper equipment. To be street legal, motor or electric vehicles need lights, turning signals, and a horn. They also have to be registered and tagged. Leibel says he doesn't think it's a big deal around this cul-de-sac, but understands how it could be an issue for kids that ride in traffic. Don't take anything for granted. Something could happen in a heartbeat, and it's just too sad that sometimes kids get hurt. Police say there can be a fine for those caught on the road. If the person is over 14, they can get the ticket. And if they're under 14, the parent is issued the ticket for allowing an unlicensed driver to operate a, a vehicle. Right now, we're live in West Wichita. Ben Jordan, Keg News.